How's it going everyone? It's Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to another movie review aka for a saw review video for today. For this new aka for a saw review video for today, this is um gonna be my review gonna be my review on a brand new lease film for 2022, which um this movie just came out just uh, yesterday in the UK, while this movie was actually released just a month ago in the US. But I did see this movie um yesterday and I'm here to give you guys my personal thoughts on what I just saw yesterday. So um, today's review is going to be my review on the 2022 romantic comedy film. It's also an LGBTQ plus film as well. In which for today's review, this is going to be my review on Bros. Now, Bros. This was directed by Nicholas Stoller, which you may know his filmography because he's made he's made like different types of films. Like most of his films, he's made are usually like adult raunchy comedy films, like say Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Get Him to the Greek, The Neighbors films, and The Five Year Engagement. And he's made a few like children's like animated films and stuff like that like he's wrote the muppets and he also did stalks as well and so he's now come back to make an, a new adult raunchy um um comedy film but it's also like a romantic film as well and also being an lgbtq plus film as well and the story of the film is that we follow this man named bobby played by billy eichner who um he's 40 years old and he's a gay man and for his life we see that well, he do, and we basically see what he does with his life is that he he does a podcast and he he's one of the members who's about to unveil this uh, brand new muse, brand new museum in New York, which is an LGBTQ plus museum, along with other people who are part of the LGBTQ community. And for outside of all that, like he hasn't had like the best life of sorts in recent years, like despite the fact that he is forty years old and he is gay, he's never been like in a he's never been in a, a relationship with before with a man. He tries to go a few Tinder dates but none of them work out for him whatsoever until one night when he goes to a gay bar, he meets this man named Aaron who's played by Luke McFarlane, who's also gay and and also f and we basically see for Aaron for his life is that he he does have like a normal home life but for his work life it's not the great it's not great for him because he doesn't have a great job that he, he has a job like he doesn't really like which is basically a lawyer and once when we see these two characters interact with each other we start to see them show their vulnerable sides to one another like showing showing attractions to one another and we see them start to basically form a relationship of sorts together despite their problems with their lives so that's pretty much the story of bros now i was really looking forward to this movie but before all of that i didn't i didn't see much of its marketing before the film was about to come out in my area i like i didn't see the trailers first i only saw like the posters for this film like this one which i'm using for this review once i did see the posters for this film um, I didn't even know what to expect from this one because I didn't hear much about this film. Like, um, like I didn't even know what it was about and all that until I did research and found that it was a romantic comedy. And usually, I do like watching comedy films, um, but for romance, I'm usually kind of on and off with them because I usually kind of keep seeing the same kind of movies over and over again. Like for like most like newer romantic comedies, we do get now we tend to get nowadays. And um, but once I did find out it was an LGBTQ plus film, I was surprised because um, I didn't even know it was an it was actually an LGBTQ plus film. But for but for that kind of genre of films, there's been some pretty damn good ones over the last few years. Like say Love Simon, Milk, Brokeback Mountain, Blue is the Woman's Color, Paul Trevor Lady on Fire, and all that kind of stuff. In which for those movies, I really really enjoyed. I think they're really damn good um, LGBTQ plus films and um, for the director of this film uh, Nicholas Stoller um, like I said like, he's done different types of films like I said he's made adult um, raunchy comedy films and he's made some pretty good fu pretty funny ones like I said he made Forgetting Sarah Marshall Get Him to the Greek and the Neighbors films and he also made he also makes uh, children's family films like animated films like say uh, he did Stalks, which has a pretty good movie, and he has done a few writing credits. And he has the, he has been given a few writing credits for a few family films he's wrote, like The Muppets, which I think is a wonderful film. And for the stars in the movie, I don't know much of the cast in this film except for the main star, Billy Eichner, who is the main star of this film, and he's also um, a writer of this film too, along with uh, Nicholas Stoller. And uh, for Billy Eichner himself, I started seeing him a few things in recent years, and I do tend to agree that he is a really funny comedian. He's just so, so funny. Like, I've seen him in a few movies and a few things he's done outside of movies and all that, which, for what, he's, for what I've seen him, he's, what I've seen him that he's been doing, I think he is just really, really funny. 
And once I actually did see the trailer for this movie, uh, before it was about to come out, I was just generally really looking forward to this one. And like I said, this movie just dropped by yesterday in my area in the UK. And I actually went to see this with uh, one of my best friends who's part of the LGBTQ community. And so we both wanted to see this movie together. And um, for my screening, there wasn't many people in my screening, but there was still a few, amount of, still quite a few people in my screening though. But after we both watched this film together, I gotta say, bros, this movie was just generally hilarious here. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this movie. There's a lot of things to really dig out of this whole movie. Like the storytelling for this movie, I thought was generally really strong and yet really great here. Yeah. Because I completely dug the whole storytelling throughout this whole movie. And it does tackle a few different things uh, throughout this whole film. It Well, it does tackle the whole main story itself. You know, the whole main story, which is basically the whole gay romantic storyline. Which for that storyline, I thought was generally strong and yet yeah, really great. But also really funny too. Because it's mostly due to the, the chemistry between Billy Eichner and Luke McFarlane. Which their chemistry throughout this whole movie, I thought was generally cute and yet yeah, really funny. And by the acting in the film... Uh, Billy Eichner, of course, he is really hilarious throughout this whole movie. He's just so, so funny here. And Luke McFarlane as well, I thought he was also great in the movie too. And as for everyone else in the film, like all, all the other cast members in this movie, I thought they were all great in the movie and yet also really funny too. And from what I've read, before I did see this movie, as well as after I saw a few people's reviews for this film when it was first released, it, this is actually the very first LGBTQ plus romantic comedy film to be ever made by a big major studio because this is this movie's been made by a big studio which is Universal and this and the whole principal cast of this film is pretty much the people who are part of the LGBTQ commu community like you've got a few who are either gay, bisexual, lesbian or transgender in which for and for having a movie like this to have all of that here I thought was just great and um and like I said, for and just like I said, for storytelling, like I said, it is great and yeah, really strong for the whole main story, which is basically the whole gay romantic storyline. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't doesn't focus on a whole lot of that. It does tackle on a few other things, like the whole LGBTQ community, which I thought for what this movie did for tackling all that here, all that here, I thought was just great, because for that community itself, of course, I I am a supporter of that community because I have very very close friends who um who I have very very close friends. Who are part of that community? Who I'm, who I've supported them for, for throughout the years, and for what I've do, and for what I've done for them for support for giving them support, they have really appreciated that, and I'm very very proud of myself in doing that. Just like they are, just, just um, like they are very proud of me for what I do to them. I mean, what I do for them, and um, it also tackles on like dealing with like who you're falling in love with. Like, say if you fall in love with a man or a woman, and and or anything like that, and wh who you are really if you're if you are part of the LGBT community itself. And um, the writing I thought was top notch by Billy Eichner and um, Nicholas Storer because again the right because the lines of dialogue in this film is just genuinely really funny for what the characters are saying for anything that has to do with the LGBTQ community and other things, and for its humor I thought the humor was just really hilarious but yet it's also re really raunchy. I wouldn't say it's insanely raunchy like way way like it's way too silly. It's just really raunchy but. It never managed to take itself way too silly for having all that on, on the big screen. Because it does... Because there are some moments where it does get a bit serious. But still, though, it manages to be just... Just moderately, like, just insanely funny. But not, like, way, way too silly. Like, like, insanely dumb or anything. And, um... As for issues with the film, I only have just one small issue with the film. Is that there are some pacing issues for a few scenes. Because there are some scenes that do kind of drag on. Despite the fact the film is only an hour and 55 minutes. That's just the only small issue I only, I only have with this film. But in the end, guys, bros, I can definitely say that this movie was just generally a hilarious blast here. This movie was just hilarious. And yet, really surprisingly heartwarming. Because the last few minutes of this film, I thought was surprisingly really heartwarming for what happens in the end. I won't say what happens, because obviously spoilers. But if you're a fan of like LGBTQ films or you're a fan of like romantic comedies, this one is definitely a good. This this one I could definitely say will be a good cup of tea. And for those who are part of the LGBT community, if you if you for yourself if you're either if you're either gay, bisexual, a lesbian, or trans, um, I could definitely say this will this this one would definitely be a great treat here, a great uh, popcorn treat here. And even if you're not part of the community yourself, if you're not either gay, bisexual, a lesbian, or a transgender like I am, because I'm not any one of those things, even though I am a supporter of that community. Um, I could still say you'll, you'll you'll still have an absolute great time in this one, just like I did. So that's pretty much all to say about bros. I'm going to give bros four and a half out of five.
Despite the only one problem I have with this movie, I still managed to have a blast with this one. And I can definitely say this is definitely another one of my favorite films this year, as well as being another great LGBTQ film I've seen. And even if you're part of the LGBT community yourself, or even if you're not part of the community yourself like I am, and, and if you do support like I do, I can definitely say this will definitely be a great popcorn treat here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my AK After I saw review on Bros. And let me know what you think of this brand new release. You just recently checked out this film if you've already seen it. Did you have a great time with this or was this not really a popcorn treat? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And this has been Falcons Media Corner signing off.